opportunity to show you my Easter tiered tray that I've made for this Easter. <laughs> um, I'll start right here. This little planter, I actually got this one a couple of years ago from Dollar General. And I'm going to go in close right here. You can see, you see that green right there? That's actually what the original color of the planter. And I just took some Waverly's chalk paint in ivory and painted it and it just transformed it. I like it so much better. It was fine for spring in that green color, but I just love the white. And I'll get a close-up without trying to get too much shadow. And then I just took some of the carrots, the twine-covered carrots, the sparkle eggs, and the blue and the pink and the purple. And then they also have um, the twine-covered eggs. And then this right here is just some glass glass filler. And then I got a little bunny popped up in the back there. But all of these items were from Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and I just filled it like I would um, if I were doing a flower arrangement or something like that. But I think it made the cutest little Easter arrangement instead of using the flowers. Now I'm going to move on to this little item right here, and I hope you can see it. This is just a planter that I got from the Dollar Tree. It's a little terracotta planter. There we go. It's just a little terra. It was a terracotta planter, and I painted it in Waverly's chalk paint in cashew. And then these right here are the glass beads that you can find at Dollar Tree. And I painted those also. <clears throat> and then I took just a dry brush and uh, Waverly's Antique Wax and just kind of brushed a little bit all around just to give it a, some color and some texture, oh, not texture, but some depth so it wouldn't be so plain. And then I wrapped some twine around it and put a little twine bow and I just put some succulents in it, these succulents I got from the Dollar Tree. And I think it makes a cute little arrangement for the tray. Now this item right here, everybody welcome, that's so cute. I did not make that. I found this at Hobby Lobby when they were having their 50% off sale. And I might have even got this on clearance because I don't think I paid but $1.99 for that little sign. But I thought it was just too cute. And then also, right up here, whoops, this carrot patch sign I bought with it. Um, they didn't come together. I bought them separately. But I found them at the same time. And I think I only paid a, a dollar or something for this one also. <clears throat> but I thought they made cute um, additions to my tiered tray. And then over here, you can see I've got some little eggs. Here we are. This is just, um, as you can see, it's just a little styrofoam egg. And I just wanted some filler for my tray, so I took some of the twine ribbon that I have and just wrapped it around and hot glued it. And I did that to several. I've got another one right there, and I added a little bow to it. And then way up here on the top, there's another one, and I had a buffalo check ribbon that I hot glued around it and like I said I just put those on there for some filler along with these little flowers. I actually used these flowers in several of the wreaths that I did for fall and I, I've been deconstructing a lot of wreaths so that I don't have to go buy more things. I can just use what I have. Of course that hasn't really stopped me from buying a lot but 
anyway, it's a good thought. And then this little bucket right here, I got it from, I got it from the Dollar Tree also. It just, I thought it made a cute little addition. Now this back here, this um, <clears throat> little plaque that says faith can move mountains and then it gives the Bible verse at the bottom. I did make this. The card is out of the pack of prayer cards that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I really should have used my tripod, I guess, but... I'm deconstructing my tray. I had one of these um, wooden plaques from the Dollar Tree, and I just painted it. I took some antique wax and just kind of dry brushed it around just to give it a little bit of color. And then I took the card and I cut it out to fit on top of the plaque and then just used some of that same ribbon that I wrapped around that egg and sort of made a frame around it and then got some yarn and tied a little bow. And there we have Faith Can Move Mountains, because it can. And now the next item I wanna show you is this little bunny right here. He's so cute. And I got this on sale from Hobby Lobby as well. And what I love about this bunny now, the way I've fixed this one, I'm not going to be able to do this. But, oh, this little bow, I added that. <clears throat> I had this black and white polka dot ribbon, and I just thought it'd be cute to put a little bow on him. But, it's reversible. How cute. Well, I didn't take the tag off of it, but it's so cute. Now, I added a little... Um, block back here. I added two, but this one's come off to just to help it stand up. And I don't know if it will now because the block has come off, but we'll see. Well, I can't do this and film at the same time. Oh, well. Anyway, when it was on the tray, it was standing up. But right now, we're just going to let him lean. But I just thought that was so cute, the little black and white buffalo check bunny. And I have, oh, the, I also have a little chick that I bought, but the little chick is in a, another area. I didn't put him on the tray. Now, moving right along, this right here has to be one of my favorite items on this tray. These eggs are also the styrofoam eggs, and my original idea was to paint them. Well, I have painted them, but this was just a happy little surprise. I mixed each color, the yellow, the green, the orange. This one right here is just the antique wax, but the colors were too bright, so I put some antique wax in it just to get some of the brightness off the colors. And then when I started painting, the eggs, these beautiful brush strokes just kept coming through. And at first I, I was disappointed because I wanted a solid colored egg. But then as they started to dry, these brush strokes started coming out more. And I love the way this turned out. I think they are so pretty. And then this little basket, <clears throat> I found about six of these tiny little baskets in a bundle at my local thrift store. And I think the whole bundle of them was $1.99. So I bought those. And then this cross right here came straight from the Dollar Tree just like this. I didn't do anything to it. I loved it. I knew it would look good on this tray. Um, 
I like the saying that's on it, seek courage and strength through him. And it's just a perfect match for this tray. So I bought it and it was $1.25 and put it on the tray. And now we're coming up on the last couple of items. This right here is my little gnome. He, I painted him. Um, I used the antique wax for his robe and then the black for his hat. And then I just put the little white, they're not really dots, they're kind of rectangles, but I wanted sort of a buffalo check look. So I went ahead and did that. And then I painted his beard white and used, um, I believe it was Waverly's chalk paint in elephant, maybe, to put the little gray streaks in there. He's so precious. I just love him. He's so cute. And then this is the wooden bead garland that I made back for the very first tiered tray I ever did, which was my, which was my Thanksgiving tray. So I recycled it for my Easter tray. And then the very last item I'm going to show you here. Let me move Mr. Bunny out of the way. Is my little house. Well, you can't really see. I'll put it over here because I want you to see the little um, chimney that I put at the top. But this is an arrow, a wooden arrow that I got from the Dollar Tree. So I just turned it pointing up and thought, well, that'd be a cute little house. So I painted it and put some stitching around it. And the words, faith, love, and grace, those were, those are some wooden words that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I gave those a good coat of the antique wax. I feel like I'm saying that over and over, but I did use a lot of that for this tray because I like it. And then just to, it didn't really look house-like, and that's why I decided to take a little square and put a little chimney up at the top. And that is everything for my Easter tiered tray. Now that I have demolished it showing you everything i'm going to put it all back together and i'll show you some more um shots of it, put it back together.